Hey, Scorpio, y'all gonna have to look into Pluto and see what's going on with the planet of Pluto, which rules Scorpio. My ancestors doing stuff. They be making me do stuff and then I be like, they'll make me forget to do the research so that y'all can do the research so y'all won't take advantage of me. Anyway, and everybody got to do their own work, so. So, this is a win-win situation. You know what I mean, Virgos? Oh, it was something I wanted to say on Virgo's reading that I did not say. If you're from the planet, no, constellation. If you're from the constellation, from the planet Earth, if you're from the constellation Orion, One of your weaknesses I've said on a Virgo reading is nightclubs, going to nightclubs, that's your weakness. So nine times out of 10, if you are, if you like the nightlife, you like the nightlife thing, and you like to go to clubs and shit, you just like it. Just be careful. It's best to know that not now. You can enjoy a nightlife while you just gotta know that's one of your weaknesses. So people that you like or people that you meet there not necessarily like. You may take somebody home, like I said on Virgo's reading. It just doesn't work. It's, it's not a good look for you. So if you are interested in going to nightclubs, you will be more of an observer, but just make up in your mind that you ain't taking no fucking body home. Because it's going to more than likely not turn out good for you. Nightclubs and the fifth dimension, which makes the twin, twin flame journey, it's to me... <laughs> The twin flame journey is starting to turn into trickster energy. So I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a large percentage of people are, that are faking being other people's twin flames. You know how they say karmic twin flames, fake false twin? Like it's more false twins are more on the rise. Which is making the twin flame journey look kind of cheap, I guess you could say. So that being said, a lot of people are still in separation. But the fifth dimension, if you're from the constellation of Orion, the fifth dimension would be considered a no good dimension for you to be on often. And some of y'all are in separation. You have to be on the fifth dimension because of your divine masculine want to have sexual encounters on the fifth dimension. But there's a weakness for you if you're from the planet of Orion. Excuse me, constellation of Orion. That would be considered kryptonite to, bat, to uh, Superman. And that is, Superman is relative to Orion. I'm just telling you, so it's risky. Clearly, the fifth dimension is a fun dimension. It's like, the fifth dimension is, is like a sex dimension. Like a club, like a nightclub, just a vibe. Sex, drugs, rag and roll, fun. It's cool every once in a while, but you ain't trying to be up there all the time. Because it, it, something happened. Shit not happened to me on dimensions. It had to be coming from the fifth. It's kind of like getting in the wrong Uber. You know, just imagine that you're on a time travel. The fifth dimension would be like you come out of a club after you have a good time with your divine masculine and you go home and you get in an Uber of somebody like uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre family. I'm not capping. You end up <laughs> fucked up. You're going to come back to yourself. You're going to enter back into your body, but oh, you it. it it still don't feel good because you can low key feel it sometimes on this side. The shit that you're enduring over on that side. So that's a weakness for some of y'all. If y'all if y'all really feel like y'all from the constellation Orion, if you want to check out the eighty eight constellations reading to learn what constellation is you from, because you care about yourself, <laughs> you could do that. But if you don't give a fuck and you feel like shit, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna land tomorrow. Then don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Um, there's something else I wanted to say about the twin flame journey, but oh, I don't 
don't care when you met your twin flame. I don't care if you met your twin flame yesterday. But remember I said it's an influx in false twins. Just like the scamming shit that's going around. People faking to be tarot readers and tarot readers got to say, listen, it's not me. It's fraud. This is a, a fucked up page. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's how false twins is on the rise. So be careful. You got to know that you know that you know that that's your twin. Okay? And you will know definitely in certain time travels and stuff like that. You will know from the physical things that they say about the swim flame, you know, in this, you know, earthly. And this is one of them. If it's your twin, do not buy the bullshit that you don't know each other. Do not buy the bullshit earthly temporal narrative that some of them are now living like they know those people more than they know you. Some of y'all have been with y'all twin flames many, many, many lifetimes where let's just say they had uh, siblings. They could have known their sibling just this lifetime. But they've been with you since ancient days, Egyptian days. You see what I'm saying? But they definitely will treat their current brothers or sisters of course they're going to act like they know them way more than you can and shit but they shouldn't that's spirituality people play with spirituality they like to oscillate between the physical and the, and the, the material world and the spiritual world you really shouldn't do that you should be one or the other that's why the matrix is a red pill or a blue pill now people want a damn red blue pill. Like you mix a fucking slushy. Oh, that's not how this works. Now you get false everything and scammers and this is as above so below. <laughs> the way the constellations is set up, there's no way that somebody can tell me you're literally on your constellation looking through a telescope or whatever it is that you can look over to another constellation to see what's going on over there. That's like Earth. Like, damn, it looks like they're having a good time. In some, in some things that they see, clearly they don't get the whole scope of Earth. But whatever scope that they do get that looks like a good time, they want to be a part of that. Even though they ain't work, if they ain't work for that, they, they could be like they karmics. They don't care. They still want to feel good and live good. They don't care. That they got shit to clean up from past lives and all that shit. Which, which ain't really a crazy mindset. You got to consider. If y'all are in a high level soulmate situation, y'all never knew that person. Say for instance, you got a twin flame. Y'all been with y'all twin flame many, many lifetimes. Yeah, act like they never knew you. Y'all could have just met two days ago, but you knew immediately. You felt comfortable. You feel like you could lay your head on. They shoulder, they feel like they can put their hand on your thigh kind of shit. Anyone even supposed to go like that? The high level soulmate, y'all meet somebody else when y'all go into this weird separation period that people are going into? Because I don't feel like they should because people just waste time and are ridiculous. That's my point. Stop buying the bullshit. If you know, and I ain't talking about somebody just trying to find somewhere to stay. And heard people talking about a twin flame trend. Now they're a fucking swindler. They want to tell you they're your twin flame. You get in the house and they knock your teeth out your mouth or black your eye. I ain't talking about that shit. Wake up and pay attention like a motherfucker. If your heart beating out of your chest, that is not your twin flame. If you meet somebody and your heart is beating out of your t chest, you better go with a high-level soulmate and say, fuck a twin flame. You just want to meet yours this lifetime, especially if you haven't met yours yet. But some of y'all have, and that's some of the twin flame problems, is you act like you don't know each other when you know you do. Longer than some of the people that y'all know in this current time and the families that y'all in. I mean, y'all got siblings that y'all only been this lifetime, and that's it. They didn't come from another lifetime. They just was your sibling this lifetime, which more than likely makes them just blood-related. 
Not soul. You got a soul twin, and y'all act like y'all don't know each other just because of earthly dynamics and the way the narrative is set up this particular lifetime. Like a fucking stage play. Just change props, change characters, and stupid shit. So why I say it's, no, it's not really far-fetched for somebody to feel like that, but bitch, it is our problem because people have to start paying attention to their past lives and can't get on with their lives and get away from that bullshit because somebody ain't cleaning up. So somebody got to do it so that earth can run and planets can run and constellations can run and the solar system can run and galaxies can run decently and in order because God is a God of order. I really feel like he's letting, like getting a, sh like, it's like cleaning out a shit stack to, I'm talking about to perfection, pristine, which gives twin flames time to clean it up, to come together. But if you get, if you get in that flush because you felt like you had time and you in your ego and you don't know nobody and you know, you don't knew your sister or your mama or your cousin or the one you think may be your, uh, I don't even know what the fuck more than you know the person that you know you want to be with, but you just want to play this earthly game, play this stage play, that's fine, but you'll just get flushed out, and then y'all will end up with like a soul, fine, soul twin, not a soul twin, excuse me, a high level soul mate, where it's no past life connected to it, which is what you want, that's how you create like, you don't have to come, even if you decide you don't want to come back here no more. If you and this person end, end up love just evolving. Now, man, you, the soul flame and the twin flame has gotten fleshed out because they played with God. They didn't want to bow down to their ego. You know, they got they got mesmerized and attached to the fact that they're actually your twin flame. They get stuck at like, it's like seeing a star. So I can see what they see is like a mirror. And then when they see themselves in you, they run. And they should not do that. They should stay put and actually look and say, wow, I'm beautiful as a woman. Because you may think, damn, I'm beautiful as a man. Because that's how deep this shit is. They start learning each other's characteristics. It's like a vibe. Roll with that. No, they're not going to roll with that. You stay in separation two years, three years, four years. They sleep with everybody. They just keep the earthly bullshit going. God ain't got time for that. They just get the benefits of him being decent and in order. <laughs> no, this shit, we definitely in an evolution. Thank God. Something's moving. But we ain't out of the clear yet. That's why I'm like, shit. I think we should look at that people like, don't look at me. You ain't nothing but that man. It's going to be a million and trillion more of you. Not like you. You're the only one of you. However, that's that, that's that Lucifer shit. Think you better. Because you're somebody sold this and that. I don't know. You're getting messed up, bro. You ain't you ain't all like that. True enough, it ain't going to be another Jay-Z. But goddamn, there's going to be a whole bunch of people that come after Jay-Z. Been gone. Let's just say he passed away at 105 years old. You know what I mean? Other people are going to be born the day he dies? <laughs> That's how unimportant we really are, for real. And people take anything, anything, and try to build a self, build some form of self-esteem off of that. No, you and your ego. And I would rather be with a more mature person than to deal with that shit. Because you, you, you're more stuck in the title of something than realizing you at, you have the actual person and you have the actual opportunity to engage with somebody that you really love this lifetime. You just want to deny that you love the person because you're trying to save face for some people that may just be blood relatives and not even so. Who's crazy, me or you? Get caught up in feelings and emotions. People would think that I do. No, I'm just human. It's called compassion. Not feelings and emotions. I have emotions, but I'm not tied to them. 
I can feel my feelings and get about them. And I'm just going to sit there and be crying all day about no man or woman, for that matter. Not even my own child. Not when you with God. See you later, alligator. It's true, Scorpio. Y'all know all about it. People stuck in romantic land or something. False twins, romantic land, and real twins. One, one knowing and understanding the time that we live in, and the other one not knowing but captivated by the fact that you're their twin. Nobody got time for that. Not right now, not at this day and time, no. If you really know what's going on. If you don't, you're stuck in a fucking fairy tale. And this is it. I mean, paint your picture how you want to paint it. But just be ready to deal with the consequences of not being aware. Just in case something happens to you out of the normal. Empress in reverse. Three of Wands. I got no expansion. Y'all looking for somebody new. Y'all ain't waiting for this person. I don't even know what that's about. Scorpio energy. Scorpio. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign. Intense sexual energy. Some of y'all may be horny out of y'all mind. Y'all ready to sleep with somebody. That's fine. I mean, if you got somebody that got their eye on you and you feel like that's somebody that ain't going to give you HIV AIDS and if you end up, it's kind of like you ever seen when a movie out of time. I think it was with Justin Timberlake or something. That movie is like the perfect movie to watch right now. I think it's called Out of Time. I think Justin Timberlake is in that movie. I think think i gotta look it up when i get off of here anyway it's kind of like a door closing and you got a certain amount of time to get through that door you know who you end up with or would you be okay with that person this this is time we living in y'all if you lay down with somebody and right now at this dispensation of time and it was not your twin flame. Could you stomach that for the rest of your life, basically? I don't know why I'm presenting it that way. But that's what I'm channeling. That's the times we're living in. So basically, who you choose now is basically who you'll end up with. Where people thought that they had time, they didn't. Nipsey's saying, yeah, that's true. <laughs> It ain't time to be getting pregnant. It's really not. It's not. It's time to get to work. If if you're, it's really about your plan. If your plan is that you want to build an empire with the person that you love, that you, let's just say that you want to build a person, you want to build an empire and do business with a person you can have sex with for the rest of your life. Because there's a lot of people thinking about for real. Y'all telling on y'all, so. For real, you're the king of wands coming right out with the four swords on top of the ace of cups. It's somebody you're ready to have sex with. It really, it's love can be, I guess, love can grow from a situation. Of course, a connection is going to happen because y'all are spiritual people who's ever on this channel. You ain't coming here for nothing. Yeah, some of y'all understand struggle. Some of y'all understand struggle. And y'all don't care. Yeah, it's just something going on with this witchcraft and all this stuff. Like, like it's like <laughs> a whole bunch of the cosmos is like jambalaya right now. Or like gumbo. Gumbalaya, okay. <laughs> a whole bunch of shit happening. 
you, you can do whatever you want to, but it's really who wants to do it with you, who understands loss, struggle, having to be brave at this time, and look at shit totally different from any way they used to look at it. Lucky, look at the fact that they lucky to have you if they ain't used to nobody like you. See the blessing in it because they know you many, many long times. They just act the fuck out of, they play the fuck out of crazy. It's weird. It's very weird because they know it. They'll say it. Everything. But this, this, it makes sense why it's like that. Some of y'all met a high level soulmate. Some of y'all may have met someone new. Some of y'all may meet someone new. And you're going to think you're going to sleep with this person because it's like you horny. Some of y'all. Pay attention to the person. If the person doesn't make your heart race, and the person is not a familiar spirit, then you can, it's like a blank canvas. You never know. It's just a soulmate. It's just a new person you've met. There's nothing attached to it. It's nothing, you, wasn't no Egypt attached to it. Was <laughs> you know, they may be somebody you always wanted to date from a different culture, but you never dated them. You know, it's like you always wanted to date a Mexican. They may be Mexican, but it ain't no past life, nothing. I'm talking high level soulmate, what they call it. I'll say it's just a soulmate, it ain't a high level shit. The only reason it would be considered high level is because you met your twin already and you may be highly spiritual. But it ain't a high level soulmate. To me, my ancestors did not got nothing to do with no past life. Meeting you right here, right now. First time. You met your twin flame a first time in one of your past lives. You could have first met him in a motherfucking Joan of Arc era. Everything has a one on it. It's, it's a, you gotta start somewhere. You had your first apartment, you had your first car, you had your first job. You just weren't born on the job you do now. You weren't born driving a car. It's the first time for everything, as they say. I've heard people say you got more than one twin. But it's all sexual, sexually based. And you write back. So I think that'd be like a waste of time. Exactly. Exactly. Eight of Wands. Yes, you got multiple twin flames that's sexually based. You get fulfilled only sexually, but as far as building a life with them, not happening. Not happening. So we basically back to one. Because it's one that ain't just about sex. It's really something to it where y'all can really contribute to the earth in a major way. Whether it's helping people get out of poverty, it doesn't matter. You're influencers, put it like that. However, some people are stuck. And the fact that they met their twin flame, like starstruck, and stuck. Yeah, what is up with that? Why is he doing that? I don't know. I'm gonna read to that because I think only that one was supposed to come out in reverse. Be patient. Y'all understand struggle. Yeah. I don't know. I do not know. I'ma see. I'ma see y'all. Y'all trying to find balance too. This came up in reverse. High priestess in reverse. We're gonna see what that's about. Two of Swords. Y'all don't really care who fills this slot. That's just where y'all at and y'all experience, but that's also a part of the evolution. People don't put everything into the evolution when they should, because everything is everything. Like, how you gonna leave shit out the evolution? That's crazy as fuck. Right? Nothing should be left out of the evolution. People keep doing shit the same way because people don't really tell the truth of what's happening that's different that always used to happen in something. You feel me? 
Like people can always say Virgos are worrisome. Virgos been evolved. Evolved Virgos been out of worry. We're working on tremors, the aftermath of worry, but not worrying anymore. It's two different things. So says you worry so much because of life and the way it is, which is unnatural as a motherfucker. Because you're ruled by the mind, you tend to worry. Why? Well, I mean, I, I mean, clearly, who ain't who? Uh, you should be worried. You heard people say that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's like somebody get a hole with that motherfucker ice on their steps. And so I said, you need to put some salt down. You're going off the front step. You're going to go off the front step. I said, I ain't worried about it. You should be. Because you're going to bust your ass. You could break your legs. I mean, what are you going to do? Because you know you all, everybody always concerned about got to go to work. And you got, can't afford to break nothing. I got to go to work. Some things have changed in the twin flame dynamic. Things that used to be the norm or the set standard of what happens in the twin flame million is not anymore because the times have changed. Okay, if somebody can tell you all day long, your false twin would never be abusive towards you or never talk to you crazy. Bullshit. They ain't got nothing to do with who he is. They got nothing to do with mental health issues and tra unresolved trauma. And you do have false ass friends. If you got false friends, you definitely can have a false twin. You know what I'm saying? That's worse. You would rather a false friend than a false twin. That's like having a single white female, but in a version of a man or a woman, depending on what you like. Queen of ether. Oh, messy, messy. Y'all can't do messy. Y'all just have a certain standard. That's just it. Somebody's on drugs really bad, and they can't knock it off. I don't know if it's it may could be lean, y'all. I ain't capping. I get messed them up in the worst way, and then nobody knows. On some Tony Project, nigga, and nobody knows it but me. I ain't capping. I'm not. On some, it could be your twin, but nobody knows. And they choose you. This is how some of them thinking. If they choose you, you fuck around and be the one that get them when they liver go bad. They don't want to do that to some of y'all. I'm not lying. Oh. My ancestors keep showing me, they showing me like flashes. And it's taking me to a wartime. That's why I said, okay. Because like I said, I don't want to even deal with that. No, I'm not going to go find me. You already know. For real. I, I started going straight into a war zone. Exactly. The other life. I swear. That's why I shut it down. Like, man, I'm not, they don't care. Yeah, man, they everywhere. This shit is crazy. Just broken men. Everybody thinks this shit is a game, and it's not. The only reason, a lot of, let me tell you something. Some of these men are so fucked up off of this cough syrup, all these drugs and shit. The only reason that they don't settle in with a woman, which is really sad, because miracles happen every day, and sometimes when you get with who you're supposed to get with, you can heal each other in a way that nobody else could ever help you. Not even a doctor or nothing. However, when you say that, Men also think you're doing some type of swindle move. Because that's what they used to. But that's part of the brokenness. Trauma. Everywhere. It don't matter what race you are. That's not just like I said. Virgos. You've all Virgos don't worry no more. You just didn't with the tremors of worry. It's like a, it's just used to doing that. Just like, I don't do that no more. I'm going to start that worrying shit. This Virgo talking to themselves. I'm start that worrying shit. What, what else we going to do? We done did everything. You know, this is Virgo talking to themselves. <laughs> so we get off of that shit. But people would say, Virgos, you know, you the people that you tend to worry. So people still predicting that shit. Like, what? It ain't for everybody. 
there's some dudes out here that will not settle down with a woman because they don't want to be embarrassed with a woman to find out about them as far as health issues is concerned. They conceal health issues real good. It's bad. It ain't good, but I'm saying. They can't, they can't stay with people. They can't stay with women, but for short periods of time because their health issues will start showing. They don't want that. So they just hit it. They can look. They can like her to the moon and back. But they won't be back because they don't want her to see them in that type of condition. They could have loose bowels. They could bleed out of their rectum. Men be going through all kinds of shit and don't say shit. And a lot of times it's from drug abuse, but this cough syrup shit. Take fuck with a heart, start heart, fuck with a heart valves and shit. Worse than a cigarette ever could, trust me. It has nothing to do with cigarettes. These are drugs, like drugs that were meant for one thing, and they start taking it for something else. Over using them, misusing them, should I say. I'm telling you. And what's so, what's so sad about it, it's really the power of love in this situation. In these twin flame dynamics, and if somebody else they want to be with you, it could just be a soulmate that thinks you're the shit and ready to start a new, you know, however many millenniums you may choose to come back or not. You know what I'm saying? Seven of Pentacles. You don't care who helps you build. You just want somebody to treat you nice. And you don't want to go deal with no petty, stupid bitch. You don't want nobody cheating on you and shit. You ain't got time for that. Some of y'all are real decisive. Yeah. The Knight of Swords energy. Um, under a Cancerian energy. Focus, decisive, rebel, restless, determined, and swift. Yeah. Some of y'all recognize that the person was y'all person. They may have said y'all was crazy. If y'all got Virgo on y'all chart, high priestess in reverse. Messy. Messy and crazy. Somebody told me it was messy and crazy. And it wasn't true. Whoever told them that gonna have to pay. Karmic justice for it. Because they lied to the person. I don't know if they bought it or not. I don't know. But y'all stuck with somebody. It was a twin flame situation. Wheel of Fortune. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like y'all... <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. Y'all gonna get somebody, but I don't know who it's gonna be. That's why I said it's a power of love thing. Y'all not gonna be by yourself, though. No, that's why I said it made sense to me. Orion, if you, from, you feel like you're from the constellation Orion, which I feel like a lot of people are gonna be, a night of wine. Yeah, they stuck. They don't know how to act. They don't know how to be. They feel like they don't even deserve some of y'all because it's just who they used to be in with. They're not used to nothing that y'all are. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Some of y'all can be both. Then they got some of y'all could be Nikki. Some of y'all could be Beyonce. It would be like Beyonce versus herself is Sasha Fierce, but it's her. Not like that. It's like they look people that can only stick, be this, 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 it. It's just they archetype they fuck with. Now they got somebody like you that can do both. It's like mesmerized, but they stuck in if I rule the world, but they're not moving out on nothing. They ain't calling you. But that's tricky. That's why I said I feel like the Twin Flame Union is going tricky. Because if you're from Orion, the fifth dimension is your weakness. You can get stuck on that motherfucker where all you do is have sex on the fifth dimension with your twin flame, sit up all day, watching tarot, talking to people, still working. Because you're going to do that, you know? You may date, but you don't take anybody really serious because you're waiting on this kind of shit. you always walking away, withdrawing from other men because you're on the fifth dimension. Yeah. Bingo. It's a weakness. It is. So, it's really up to you. 
it's really up to you and it's really going to be up to the universe because God is not going to choose something for you that is not decent and in order for where you're trying to go if you have pure intentions and what you want to do with your life and you done suffered enough as far as love is concerned but you still have the audacity to want to love someone properly and to be loved properly you never know what it is so when you get it you it may seem foreign that's how i know a lot of shit that don't it's not the people y'all gonna be meeting after y'all twin flame are not gonna be past life if they are they're a false twin i'm yeah i'm daring to say that shit just for where we're at this shit they playing with it what's wrong be giving it up i'm telling you i'm your twin flame anything you say do they do i dealt with one of them y'all i dealt with this kind of archetype i ain't lying I can tell him to pick up a candle. He will pick up a candle. And then my in your mind, it'll trick you to think that y'all compatible because he, girl, he do everything. I don't have to like argue with him. <coughs> like, if if <coughs> if y'all met a high-level soulmate or a twin flame that was like, I don't want to do that. Or I don't do that, I ain't into that. And y'all feel some type of way because they just don't remember. They could have been a person that didn't do it. You could have been in the past life. You did it. And they didn't still. You know what I'm saying? Y'all and y'all individuality. These particular false twin motherfuckers, it's, these are archetypes. They will do anything you say. But. And it ain't ego with y'all soulmate or with y'all twin flame. It, it would just be because they don't want to. You know what I mean? I don't do that. That's your thing. Do your thing. They know you ain't doing nothing to hurt them. If anything, but like you gonna do some shit to put in there and get some money, kind of shit, or you gonna do some shit for my protection. I'll take a detox to the app, you know what I'm saying? Or they might not do it at all. They don't wanna do it at all. They don't wanna do nothing you got going on. But they'll help you, uh, they'll take some stuff to the post office to drop it off so you can get your clients' packages delivered, kind of shit. But these type of crazy archetypes, you'll do anything. And you would think that's compatibility. Yeah, such and such, he went down with what I did. He will always say, you know, that's my thing. Like, he wasn't interested. But so-and-so, <coughs> <coughs> if I say do this, or we doing this, or I'm doing this, he be all interested. Everything that you tell him to do, he do, is because he don't have a mind of his own. That's a bot. Don't give me what the fuck you want. You know? And you can have bots this fine. Thank you, Kate. She did. I know it's unconceivable, but it's true. For real. Uh, with this set. Because this girl still, still let me know. That's the other map. This motherfucking phone's out here. Empress is in reverse. <clears throat> and people that talk too much and do too much, they mess with oxygen levels. They ain't doing nothing with their oxygen. You want to do something, give something back, and you can barely breathe because people somewhere running their mouth on the phone and doing something talking about nothing. Infertility, miscarriage, abortion, poverty, loss, hardship, bitter vibes, unmobile, idleness, lack of progress, uncomfortable living situation, distractions, disruptions, and tower moments. So some of y'all, even though y'all were a mother, y'all dealt with all that. Some of y'all may have had multiple abortions. Some of y'all may have dealt with miscarriages. Some of y'all may have even dealt with infertility at one time. If your stress levels get high enough, you can't get pregnant. You can't even come on your cycle. The eight of wands in reverse. You've always been an empress, but you've always been treated less than that. So it will make people appear to think that you're crazy where you move too fast. It's not that. I've just been through enough already. I'm ready to go ahead and settle on in. I think I'm resilient for the fact that I've been using my heart this whole time and it's been getting mangled and I still have the audacity to want to love somebody in a healthy way. How crazy is that?
misguided, scattered energies, jealousy, disharmony, loss of control, disputes, confusion, overwhelmed, hasty decisions, people wishing you to fail, it's just your strategy. Yeah, some of y'all thinking about adjusting y'all strategy, but y'all got involved with somebody that was dealing with witches or a witch, and y'all know that, and y'all feel that. Some people may have tried to tell you you are if you're not, you know, like you don't have intuition. Like, I don't show you stuff, you know. If it don't come off YouTube, you don't know. That kind of shit is what they would suggest. Misuse of sacred knowledge, vanity, conceit, immorality, warning, use caution, ignorance, ungrounded, shallow, and aware. So somebody is telling this person that y'all are a fake high priestess, but they really are it. They're like bots. They ain't doing shit projecting. So it would be kind of like, she misusing that stuff. She misusing the Bible. They don't even read it. She vain. They're looking in the mirror every five minutes. You ain't looking at it all day, but you may be prettier than them. Conceited. She conceited. You ain't never had the time for selfies all the time. And if you did, thank God that you still have self-esteem after all of the trauma you've been through with men or women. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> You're immoral. They're immoral with this shit. They always, what? Warning. Warning. It's like, like, like the warning them to not be around you or be with you or listen to you. Use caution, ignorance, ungrounding. Uh, you know that's them. Shallow. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. All you got to do is scratch. Just scratch a little bit beyond the foundation and the concealer. And ain't nothing wrong with nobody that wear that. I'm just saying. That's all you got to do. And you're going to see after that, ain't nothing else. Ain't, no, ain't no, nothing else there. Unaware. So some of y'all divine masculines got themselves in those situations. You just end up and you don't want to be bothered with this kind of shit. It's a headache. That's all. It's a fucking headache. Like trying to wait for somebody to grow up. Y'all ain't never got the time. Nobody on the planet does. That's the fuck part. That's why I see it. You may end up with this soulmate. You don't know. It's not what you got. Nothing connected to your past life. It's like, now imagine this. This is real sinister of me, but imagine this. The juice world funny. It's God. And he's about to blow up this so you can come over into this. Everybody. But you are not aware. You still back here in the small. Can't breathe. He's about to blow that up. Come on over to this side. Hurry up. Or you're going to get fucked up. And that could possibly be who you end up with. If you thought too highly of yourself. Or you had any, you know, vanity. All the shit that they were saying. About some of y'all. That wasn't true. Devil is shit. Shit, shit of the devil. <coughs> Attachments. Ego. Silly. You got caught. You got caught, in, you got caught up in an illusion. Yeah. <laughs> it's my crazy car. A lot of people don't be on the side of crazy. End up in a mental hospital. Never thought they would go. It's just, it's just, it's, I don't know. God about to pull a lot of people in old cars. He don't care either way. That's just how I feel. Energy I feel from God is he don't care either way because he got to get it done. Or sitting like this. This is God. I ain't talking God's up. I'm talking, imagine this. This is the, people, the, the God that they say don't. God ain't somewhere sitting on no cloud. What people say. Yeah, I don't, who, listen, I don't know. I don't know. Could be, could be not. I don't know. We'll see some of me. However, use your imagination. Humor me, people. God is just sitting there like this. And, and juice world energy with. You don't care. You know, y'all don't take too much time up with all this stuff y'all been into. I do things decently and in an order. You've had plenty of time to get your life together. Whoever. It rains on the justice, whether it's the unjust. Playing the voices. Some of y'all may have been telling people this. This is what I'm feeling. The people was calling y'all crazy and this and that. You can call whatever. Bitch, it's called primal instinct. Animals go head for the hills when they feel danger or a natural disaster. Humans will stand there and get hit. We will. We out of touch. <laughs> it 
if y'all are doing what God said, y'all always going to be on the winning side. Some of y'all may be concerned like that. Okay, if I don't choose my twin and I end up with a soulmate, what, I don't want to end up in a situation where I don't love this person or I got a fake and I end up in a situation that y'all may have just left out of dealing with a bot energy or just a toxic union or marriage or whatever the case. You just don't want to end up with no more towers. I don't feel like that's your fate. Exactly. You don't want to end up with no more towers. And I know this to be true because there's two towers that came out. One popped and one was on the bottom of the deck. It's true. Y'all sense shit. As long as you're on God's side, you're not wrong. You're not going to end up in no fuck situation. It may be better for you to end up with somebody that you don't know or doesn't feel familiar. And I want to get to know you in a special kind of way. Especially if you're different from what they used to. It's like new, fresh energy. It's like old energy getting flushed out for new energy to come in. And nobody understands that to some degree that they're going to maybe not end up where they thought they would. Or with who they thought they would. Even if it's your twin flame. Or even if it's your high level soulmate. You see? <laughs> it's something else. Definitely gotta be aware. I tell you the fuck that. Ace of voices, yeah. People calling me crazy all the time. Show me all that praying to God. <laughs> and he's just like this too, the fine fam. Behind you, look at that out too. Like I hear you, girl, but listen, I'm a, I'm a running how I run it. It ain't nothing personal. Because I, I, you've had time. People have had time to stop this COVID bullshit after COVID. Why don't you keep going COVID after COVID? Something wrong with you. Something missing. You're from the motherfucking planet of goddamn the Great Rift. You're from the Great Rift constellation. You like to tear shit up, huh? <laughs> yes, you do. You're from the motherfucking... Dark cloud constellation. Bitch, you're from the, you're from the dark matter in the Milky Way. You, you're just dark. You're just a dark being, for real. Just standing there getting hit instead of running. But that's so wrong. If you end up sleeping with that kind of energy too often, you don't think something will become wrong with you? You out somebody, you out of your fucking mind. Everything is everything. You gonna always end up becoming who you around the most, whether they good or bad. It's just the way it is. <laughs> you can hold your own, but for so long, some gonna get in you know that person. That's why you shouldn't just hang out with trash for too long. You shouldn't. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all on some other shit. A lot of people are. How the fuck can you not be after COVID? After a Nipsey dies. After a pop smoke dies. All these people just dying, 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 dying. Just like on the movie Ray. Well, he said, man, Ray, seeing that much death ain't natural. He said, yeah, seeing all this death, seeing that much death ain't natural. Because when he seen his brother die, he went blind. That's how unnatural death was to him. Okay? Okay? You had certain prophets, Methuselah. Methuselah was one of the, uh, like, old, old. That's real. You had times we was living to so old, old upon the earth. Now we got 60 years, we out of here. 20 years, we out of here. Straight out the womb, out of here. I mean, nobody seen that one thing? I don't even know. Some people are about to die. They came right up but Uncle Bobby. God I don't care. I'm telling you, Six of Swords. Yeah, it's going to be just like this. You ain't got no choice. Like you possess, like you under some type of higher force, you know? Just go that way, baby. Go that way. You know, I'm serious. Get on that side. I want you on that side because you're not a bad person. But if you don't move, you're going to end up dying with the rest of these people. Just go on that side. You just go on that side 
in the side. You may be in the side. You may be on the in the passenger seat of the car with your soul flame instead of your soul mate that you just met, or you end up on the side of the car moving with your soul mate when you thought you would end up with your soul flame or twin flame. That kind of shit. However, whoever you end up with, you will be okay. People ran out of time. The Holy Quran says, by the time men are surely a loss. Exactly. This is like a decisive card. I'm decided. This would be the lady sitting on the stone. Mm, right or wait that. Her mind is made up. Her heart is covered. She don't have time. She don't. Nobody does. And the audacity of people to think that they do about money. You hold on to a woman because you're trying to, man, I'm trying to get my money back from this house and even that. You know that's somebody that's out of tune with the time. Because a man that's in tune with the time, fuck this house, fuck this bullshit, I can get this shit again. But what I do know, everybody want is love. I'm about to go out this bitch with somebody I love at least. I'm telling y'all. And some people, some of y'all divine masculines, wouldn't go, wouldn't come where you are. They end up with crazy as fuck people. But because people was calling them crazy as fuck because they just met you and was saying they was in love with you, people start saying you was doing spell work on them to feel like that. That's not true. Y'all just knew each other many, many lifetimes and it was familiar and you really did love them immediately. When you are loved, you can tell whoever you love them and you're not lying. It's true. Okay? And it was even to that degree. But they got in y'all business and this person allowed them and bought the narrative and pushed back or pushed away because they didn't want to be looked at crazy or like they got whipped. Like, you know, you got that whip appeal, that kind of shit. When well, actuality, y'all may have good sex or whatever, but you really just a good girl and that's it. Just because I'm a Scorpio, they don't mean I want to fuck every five minutes. You know what I'm saying? And if you're a Scorpio man watching this, this would be what's happening with the person that you're either just met or, you know, in separation with. Somebody you just met could be your soulmate. Or you lost a uh, twin flame. Whatever the case, somebody tells lies. And somebody twin bought the lie. Somebody's soulmate could have bought the lies with a twin, figured it out at the last minute. That's how you end up on the side of the car with him. Whenever this shift of whatever the fuck takes place changes, it's outside of your control, really. You gotta move even if you don't want to. You gotta do this even if you don't want to. You know, it's like decided for you, faded. People are gonna think fate is real. Let me tell you something. If it's up to God choosing you or his whole planet Earth and nature and animals, <laughs> I bet you your ass get faded. It's that bullshit that causes God to kill your motherfucking ass. When you get to thinking it's kind of crazy and stupid like that. God ain't never going to stop me. What? Before you destroy his earth, he will. He will fuck who you is. Put in the wands. Some people just didn't want them with y'all and they feel like they won. And some of them may end up with the karmic. That's their fate. You think this is a game? It ain't. Ain't nobody got time to wait on your special, just got a line up and your beard glistening head ass? Who cares? Come on. The earth is crumbling day after tomorrow, kind of shit, bro. Chop, chop. These idiots listen to somebody or people tell them that they were crazy for saying that you they loved you and they want to be with you and they want to leave this other person or whatever, whoever ain't doing shit. Yeah, somebody got to call the police on all the motherfucking time or going to have to. And then y'all just going to end up with somebody else. The John Megan ends up marrying you right away. The easy like Sunday morning getting to know each other type of shit. Some of y'all may be at that age where that's lightweight. It's kind of like y'all. Yeah, it's kind of like God knowing what you need more than you do. You know, you may think you want something or you you want this and that, and it's, your life just turn out totally different. 
Like, who would have ever thought I would end up with you? Who would have ever thought we would have ended up? Yeah, y'all are taking off with somebody. <laughs> somebody gonna find out too late that somebody is a whole ass demi urge that they sitting up holding on to, listening to, and then getting mad, magnetized or mesmerized is what I want to say just by you being their twin. Okay, and we still got to get to work. You know, they done run out of time, some of these people. So I don't know who the fuck y'all gonna end up with. That's some real shit. But just be prepared. And wherever you end up, if you're on God's side, you're gonna end up, you know, cool. Let's see if something can pop before this car goes down. Surrender to the divine, exactly. Ain't nothing else to ain't nothing else to pop. You see that? Surrender to the divine. You <laughs> know, just surrender to the divine, you know. Surrender to the divine. People don't want to do that. But they're gonna have to do that. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, Scorpio, if this thing y'all read, I pray this helps somebody. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to the divine. I'm trying to tell y'all. You are not in control. That's the only part that pops. And I get this big old 